let's take a look at the class as a whole because like we, we joked about it a little bit there off the top there but Florida State went big with early signing day jumped out mm-hmm. big on top and transfer portal came in got a bunch of transfers coming in I guess my question is let's rate the class as a whole if you had to give the class as a whole is a great and obviously Ronan's talking big because Miami did have a big day let's give Miami their credit they did get their first win of 2022, jumping over Florida State in the class. They ended up with the 14th ranked class. We ended up in 19th. So congratulations, Ronan. You know, Miami did get their first Mm -hmm. win. Obviously, they can't beat us in anything else. Can't actually beat us on the field, the football field. They can't beat us in the basketball court or the baseball diamond either. But that's a different story. We will worry about that as the year goes on. (laughs) Rate our class as a whole, Logan. What, what, What would you say? If you had to give our class a grade, what would you give Florida State's class? Class, uh, I'd give it. If you're sitting in the top twenty, I'd probably give it right now. I'm probably about a a B, mm-hmm. a flat B, maybe maybe a B minus with some of the things that was going that were happening. Um, I mean, you could argue that that grade could go lower with some of the misses there. Um, and they still, at least if we're just looking at the recruiting class, you know, there was some misses there. Then they tried to help and help themselves in the transfer portal, which which they've done. Uh, but there's still some other needs too. I still think they want to add a few more parts uh, on the defensive side. But um, Florida State, you know, I think overall, you know, National Signing Day, you have Woody come in, which was kind of a surprise. This, you know, we weren't really expecting this to happen. This was kind of maybe a lost cause. Woody wouldn't we would even be able to make it into the class. So just the factor of him actually being able to sign, he's signed something physical today, whatever he did sign, but it, everything is leading to him being able to come into Tallahassee is a big deal. I think some fans are maybe looking over it, and I know maybe dropped a star on some recruiting sites out there, but, I mean, guys, this guy's film is extremely impressive, and I like the physicality he's going to bring. I like guys that want to be violent, and if you look back – now, overall, in this class, Florida State has revamped this whole room. This is the this is the wave. This is the offensive line wave. This is Coach Atkins' guys. This is this. There can't be any more arguments about oh, this isn't his. This isn't his offensive line. Wait till he has everybody, his whole pieces. This class right here is it. This is this is what he's working with. They are signing six high school offensive linemen, and in, in this uh, 2022 class, that is the most since 2016. So a major haul and these guys are big they're coming in and like i said the, the physical presence of these uh young players is what's really gonna be the whole talk heading into this next season it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch there's gonna be a lot of competition too this is a whole new room coming in yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a b as well i think obviously the national headline is the losing losing travis hunter to jackson state that's obviously going to be the the black cloud over the class yeah for the 2022 signing class. But I like the fact that Florida State went out and got positions of need. You talk a little bit about the offensive line. Uh, and not, not just talking about with the, with the high school kids, but also with the transfers. They went out and got offensive linemen. They got wide receivers, a major position of need. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, I like the fact that they brought in a couple linebackers. You know, they, they brought in defensive linemen. I feel like they went out and got the positions that they were in desperate need of getting. So I think... If you're going to say that, I would give Florida State an A for the class. But I do think losing Travis Hunter, yes, it's just one guy, but it was a big player. I think that is what drops it down a little bit. So I'm going to give it a B. Yep, I think misses too at wide receiver along with you didn't you don't get Tyree West too, mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was – I thought they were in a really good spot until they didn't get to have that last mm-hmm. visit. And I think this Florida State staff has learned from that. You really want to have those last – in person conversations and building those relationships and have just the initial the last visit it goes goes to show that it plays a big time impact and you know i think to florida state's defensive line of losing tyree west kind of stunk so that definitely drops it down to a flat b but like you're right losing, losing travis hunter sucks that's something mm-hmm. we've never even seen before and of course you know what happens to florida state we've never seen it happen ever before but you know it's going to happen to florida state mm-hmm. but it, is it is it entirely florida state's fault there as as a staff hell no i I, you know we talked about it plenty of times we won't we don't even need to talk about anymore because i think fsu fans are tired of hearing about it but there's different things going on in the background of all this nil stuff that in about three years we'll be looking back at this and wonder how in the hell did that even happen like how was that even allowed so um (laughs) 
you know, yeah. I don't, we don't put, we don't put that on Norvell. I mean, that was a shocker, not only to us that morning of hearing just different things mm-hmm. going on and rumors to same with him when he woke up that morning, he's like, well, I'm not getting texts back. I'm not hearing back nor in our phone calls. It's what stinks, but and, um, yeah. And we talked about, I mean, you saw Kevin Coleman, he signed with, with Jackson state as well. Yeah. Was, was going to go to Miami. Everyone thought he was going to Miami. He was going to, you know, sperm floor state go to Miami. He ends up going to Jackson state. We talked about it. It's yeah. going to happen to Notre Dame. It's going to happen to Ohio State. It's going to happen to Florida. It's going to happen to USC. Kids are going to go to HBCUs. They're going to go to HC, excuse me, FCS schools. It is going to happen, so get used to it. With the NIL room, with what's going on with NILs, stay tuned. It's going to happen more often. 